Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you're rocking me. Got my sticks, me to have my back because I have yours. Yes, I am back. I miss you guys. And I can't keep saying that. Separation and forever change. You guys have forever changed my life and the separation becomes an addiction for me when it comes to I'm just dealing with it. I'm just playing with you but anyway let's just talk about it I do miss you guys the separation is here it says forever change you've been forever changed about a certain type of separation or any type of test of love because you at one point were codependent to it or they had some type of energy when it came to sexual addictions destructive behavior codependent energies and there was a lot of regret uh, now this regret could be uh, you feeling remorseful or um, wanting to undo the energy that was a part of this uh, situation. But at some point, somebody is feeling guilty and they're feeling guilty probably from the actions of their their toxicity. Um, and so that is where we are when it comes to this situation. You guys have forever changed my life. It's been a little over two years that I've been doing this channel. Um, I know within the last four months, I've been a little rocky, but you know, it's like all the energies that you guys give me. I love it. You know, when you guys like the videos and when you guys uh, leave comments or just message me in general, it makes me feel good. So thank you guys. And a new self, you are at a point to where a love that transforms forever change. You have transformed yourself by looking into what it was and what it should be, what you know that it should be and what it wasn't. And so therefore, you had to separate and find the puzzle pieces. You guys, if you remember my tattoo, it looks crazy, but it's my dad's heartbeat. It is the infinity sign with a heart that never ends. And to me, this means when will it ever end? Uh, the love that I have for everyone. And also, when will I find that puzzle piece? So the separation, and it shows the puzzle piece there. It's just like it doesn't have to be necessarily love. It could be just lessons that we have to learn. But this all ends when this stops beating. And so that's kind of how I see that. And why it means so much to me. There is a card that came out. Password. Bottom of the deck. The rose. Love. Pride. Love. And this is all about love. And what you. And how you love. And the things that you're addicted to. The codependent energies of trying to help fix. And protect love when it comes to you. And that's the love situation that you've been in. In the past. Password box. Priv privacy. Confidential. And security. Um, and also time. Forgetfulness. Scars. And accumulation. Over the past energies, you have accumulated a lot of scars when it comes to how you love, the way you love, and how you want to be loved. And at some point, you kind of have to look at things in a different light and, and um, you know, try to figure out how you can get through this, how you can walk away, how you can separate without having any bad uh, energies behind it. Because I don't know where the card went, and I don't want to run it over. Sorry, you guys see my hair in a ponytail. But anyway... Because we don't want to feel the regretful because of a decision that we had to make. I tell my kids, oh, here it is. I tell my kids it's called grown-up uh, decisions. And sometimes when we have to make them, it's hard for us to make because, you know, we get that knot in our throat. And, you know, I always tell my kids, don't make me have to decide, you know, for you when it comes to you guys being adults. And I have to say, hey, that's not a good thing for you to do. That's not this. Or I just have to say, no, no company, no this, no that. Those are the clarity things and the growth that has to happen. The clarity things. Those are the things that bring you clarity when it comes to your security and your uh, mental. And so when it comes to the moon, taking time for deep self-reflection and essentials, it says, look at you. You're bursting with sparkly new ideas. And this is having clarity of the things that you want to do. Ace of Swords energy and the sun energy growing from that. Give yourself permission to experience joy today. Um, or joy, it doesn't say today. Joy, which is the sunflowers and the toxic witches. It says, be cautious of those who take more than they give. And that's the energy, one-sided energy, and why you had to separate from people, places, and situations and manifest the things that you want, magician energy. You have everything you need to do. Um, you have everything you need. To do anything you want and so you have to be able to manifest those things but you have to be able to see ten of pentacles 
where the blessings lie. Ten of Pentacles, ten years is taking you to get closer to this point where it says toxic, which is here, card number 15. Be cautious of those who take more than they give. So the energies around you are, you know, forever changing what you're doing in the present. But remember, thank these people. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher, whether it's person, places, things, or situation. Your toxic, the toxic energies and the destructive behaviors that you've been around um, or that you've been a part of or that you've been codependent to showed you all the bad habits that you don't want to be a part of and know that in the day love um, love is everything to you and you will receive the love that you want but you have to understand the love that transforms also uh, shows you in the um, past of what it was and how it hurt you and the ten of pentacles is there it says having it all having it all looks different to everyone so to everyone it could be different people love with money you know and that's where it, it comes to um, when they talk about your love languages you could like animals you could like gifts you could like you know, you can like affection, you can like uh, some type of touch or whatever it is, the love languages, you know, to what one person might seem, you know, like, oh, you just don't want a lot in your life. You might think the small things mean a lot more to you than you um, waiting for someone to, you know, come in and sweep you off your feet because you're like, I can financially do this for myself. It's not the financial aspect. It's like us working together. But if my mind is constantly worried about, what you're hiding from me and not really looking at the time that I'm going through this 10 years again, you have to look at certain things like, okay, this is bad for me. I hate nothing about you. And it's so hard when you're addicted to a certain situation, no matter how much drama or how much, um, you know, uh, I'm going to say this and I hate to say it, crime a person commits, but I'm not saying it in a crime, like crime to your heart, like how much that happens. You have to set the record straight and say, you know what, um, you've been playing games and putting on the show. I'm going to let you know that this is not what I really wanted. I seen something in you and I took my time out, but the secrets and the lies and things like that caused me to realize that I don't hate anything about you. I thank you for all the energy that you gave me, even though this is this is pretty much a crime that's been committed with my heart, my love, the way that I feel, and I have to separate from you because of what you decide to do or what a person has decided to do when it comes to your emotions. So that is kind of how I see that energy. I'm going to pull from the um, breakup Oracle deck because you are in separation with this person, but I really don't want to focus on the separation. I want you to know what you learned from your past. So, you know, yes, I can dig deep into what happened and what the breakup and how messy it got and all these other things. Yeah. All in my head and decisions. This person has a decision to make because you forever changed them twice. It came out forever changed. Yep. It says Ch you changed my life without even trying to. The old me is dead and gone. And then it says again, a new life, lasting changes and a love that transforms. They have a decision to make. It says I made up my mind. I'm not wasting any more time. And it says all in my head, your love has captured me everywhere I look. I see your face. And so therefore they have to realize that. You've done everything, and it feels like they're in mental prison, and that could be what that is, but you're setting the record straight, or they're set, setting, you're setting the record straight, and, and they have a decision to make because you've given everything. You don't hate this person. You just hate that you spent 10 years. Again, Ten of Pentacles is over here. You spent 10 years almost trying to get this person to really see who you really are and to really love you for who you are and also to love themselves and to know that what you wanted for them was always something that was um, that you saw the potential in. It was always something that you saw, but you saw so much more toxicity around them. Again, be cautious of those who take more than they give. And this person just kept taking your time. And that's where time comes in at time here, decisions, and Ten of Pentacles time again, and forever being changed. And so that's where you get to a point to where you have to understand they have the dark side of it, which is the toxic energies and the addictions, and it says broken. They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be patient. So it's telling you to be patient when it comes to this situation, but yeah, family tree, the way that they were in the past, the things they have to unlearn to relearn, those type of energies are the hardest part for a person to actually really get to see when it comes, she's watching Dragon Ball Z or something. I forget what it's called, but anyway, the dark side. So, yeah, they're broken from their past, but that's not for you to fix. 
And that's something that you've been patient about them actually learning and figuring it out. I'm going to pull from the spiritual gifts deck to see how you've been working, what you've been working on. Have you been focusing on your chakras, affirmations, you know, herbs, whatever it is that you've been working on in order to get through this separation and what has changed you mentally, physically, and emotionally. Again, uh, yes, psychic healing. So you have, um, it says you're being called to explore psychic and spiritual healings to help improve one's, se one's condition. It says no matter if you're focusing on the mind, body, or soul, and discernment is here. Yeah. So the discernment, it says you're being called to exercise your good judgment so that so you can help heal and manifest through awareness and wisdom. And so you're learning. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. And the runes are here. It says you are being called to explore the ancient Norse method of divination using their alphabet to ass assess higher guidance and to see into the future. So this could just be you looking at your birth chart to me. This is how I feel because I don't I don't know how to use the runes. I have these dice here. I don't know what they are, but I just know it has the number one, two, three, four, five, and then it has the, you know, the uh, male, female, and all the other moon stars, quasars, quavars, whatever it is in the zodiac signs. But the runes are, you know, another way of looking at things, you know. And if you want to find out more, I mean, the only thing I can tell you is look up on YouTube or Google it. But I don't know this part of it. But your discernment is is that the toxicity and the way that you love and the decisions that you and others must make in order to grow, which is the sun energy, is that only time will tell if a person will grow either with you or without you. And the dark energies of their addictions, codependent energies, and the way that they keep secrets and not really come be, be up forth with you um, is another thing. So you have um, let this person forever change you based upon what you see and how, how they haven't grown yet and so that is why they can't get over you you can't get over them but you're looking at it as this toxic to you and that it can cause more more pain and trauma the longer you wait we already have 10 years out here and we have time so again you have to forgive and um, some things are not going to be able to be forgiven or forget forgotten but the uh, scars over the year and it accumulating and accumulating you have to know that you have to be able to get through that energy. So, again, looking at things in a different light is what you probably need to do. So, I'm going to pull from the crystal deck, which is focusing on the chakras. If you hear my grandbaby in the back, she's in her playroom. So, um, watching something that she's cracking up at. I got her. I can't. Let's see right here. Two cards came over. Oh, there you go. So, the rhodonite and the essenite garnet. I haven't ever got this one. Um, it says root chakra and sacral chakra. And then it has the rhodonite, which is the heart and the root chakra. So grounding yourself, learning about the heart chakra and um, the sacral chakra. So if you want to know my perspective, click the links up above. I'll put them there. And then the four agreements is what we're pulling from. Um, yeah, but you just need to know that, you know, at some point, only time will tell. And somebody has to make a decision. And the decision normally starts with the person who is level-headed and who knows what love really is and knows what, you know, when, when it's time for you to get out and grow. So always do your best. Don't overdo. And you've already done that. And so you've done, you've overdone it. That's where the codependent energies come at. The toxicity comes in at because, you know, you just have been trying to heal this person. Did I read this card? I don't think I did. Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. And so it says always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and go against yourself. And it will take you longer to accomplish your goals. So that's what took, has taken you longer to really just start focusing on yourself, all the scars and all of the patience and all of the, 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 the secret energies and stuff. So the Hessenite garlic garnet is the root and sacral chakra again, and it's confidence, prosperity, and creativity. And it says my journey through life is filled with good health and happiness. So as long as you know that everything that you learn, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher, which is from the game of life and how to play it by Florence Goble Shin. You will understand that you can't be mad at anybody for being who they really are. You just have to understand and be able to be who you are and not let anybody change that. Um, the ride of night is the heart and the root chakra. It says cosmic connections, high vibrations, and acceleration. Moving forward, right? I use my gifts and my, uh, excuse me, I use my gifts to fulfill my soul's purpose. And sometimes your soul's purpose is to help and heal people. But sometimes the healing comes within separation of you doing your best and giving your best. 
to a person and they're realizing that it's too toxic, they have to heal on their own. And once you get to this this lesson, you'll know that moving forward, you cannot heal anybody. They have to heal themselves and you can only show them the right way. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. And so you're not going to keep constantly wasting your time over a person that has toxic energies. You're going to tell them what you see and hopefully they get it and hopefully they'll be able to make those decisions to be able to get help and hopefully they can see that you meant well and that you weren't trying to hurt them or just you know make them feel less than you were just trying to help them get through what you seen as toxic so there you have it let's go ahead and let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place things or a situation i love you guys